Okay, today we want to talk about how do you estimate the reserves potential for our drilling prospect, oil and gas drilling prospect. All right, so if we're evaluating our prospect, we have to understand three things. What's the chance of finding oil and gas? And then how much oil and gas will we find? And how much profit will we make if we drill the well? So that would be economic. So we've already talked about number one in a previous video. But today we're going to just talk about how do you estimate the oil and gas that you will find from a drilling prospect. How big will the reservoir be if we discover it? How are we going to determine that? Well, we could try volumetric analysis, but we have to know, you know how big the reservoir is to do the analysis. So there's some uncertainty on a drilling prospect. So we're going to add Monte Carlo analysis to the volumetrics to help quantify the range and of outcomes that we could have when we drill the well. So first we have to decide, we have to understand what do we know about the prospect area? Well, the reservoir that we're targeting has been produced by several wells in the area. So that's good. And these wells produce gas and condensate. So we're expecting gas at our prospect. And we have pressure data and log data and then we know the formations in the area are abnormally high pressure, so that's good. And we have the production log data from the offset well. So we're gonna use the offset information tied to our prospect data to help figure out how big it's gonna be. And we are expecting gas, so we're gonna, we have to look at the gas reservoir parameters for the volumetric. So we need the area, we need the thickness, you know, the porosity, water saturation of the formation, you have to know the gas formation volume factor and then the condensate yield and recovery factor. So we have to estimate all these things. All right, so the first thing, let's, let's uh, look at this seismic structure map with amplitude. So the amplitude, bright amplitude in yellow and red is a hydrocarbon indicator. And we're gonna use this map to help estimate the reservoir area for our prospect. So our prospect is right here with the black star right into the bright amplitude where we think it's gas indicator. All right, so if we draw a polygon around the bright contiguous amplitude area around the well, that could be the drainage area. That could be uh, 470 acres. That might be the low estimate for the prospect. But if we draw a bigger polygon kind of bracketing how big it could be, that might be the high area. So that's 1,910 acres. So we have a range of areas. So that's the first thing we need. All right, now we have to estimate the thickness for our prospect. So we have some offset wells and we, we can see how thick the sand, target sand is. So we go ahead and uh, plot these up on a cumulative distribution curve right here. And uh, we can get an average of the offset well thicknesses, the P10, P50, and P90. So now we have an idea of how the, the range of thickness is in the area, and we can apply this to our prospect. So that's two parameters you have to estimate. This is kind of how you do it. I'm not going to go over every one. Uh, so now we have to set up the Monte Carlo analysis, and to do that, we use crystal ball software, which is an Excel add-in. So let's go ahead and look at that. All right, so here's our spreadsheet that we've set up with crystal ball. Here's our Monte Carlo analysis data, our reservoir parameters all here. And we might have to estimate a most likely, you know, for each parameter and a low and a high, you know, from the data we have. So we have to estimate all these things. And then the green boxes are our distributions that we're gonna set up in Crystal Ball. And I'll show you a few of them. So let's look at the porosity. So the porosity that we have set up, we have a range of porosities from 0.16 to 0.3 with a triangular distribution. So that's for our porosity. Uh, our B sub G formation volume factor, we have that as a, as a triangular distribution with the values all here. And our recovery factor, we're gonna use a log normal distribution for it. So we estimated that based on experience and offset wells. But you also have to bracket the low and the high points because you can't let it go too high or too low. You have to make sure the distribution is reasonable. And the thickness, we're using a log normal distribution from the data we have and the area. 
we use the log normal distribution, kind of bracketed it with the map data. The map is not 100% accurate, but we can get an idea. All right, so we have all the data that we've built Monte Carlo. Here's some of the calculations for shrinkage and then estimating the pressure and the formation volume factor. We had a little analysis of that. All right, so now we have our equation set up. And let's go ahead and run the simulation. Also, we're going to simulate the unit recovery factor to get an idea of what our MCF per acre foot recovery could be and then the reserve potential of oil and gas. So let's go ahead and run it. Run the simulation. We're going to do 20,000 iterations. Here's our unit recovery distribution just to get an idea of what the recovery might be based on the porosity and water saturation and recovery factor. Make sure it looks reasonable. Then we have our gas reserves here at the bottom with the distributions all the way from P5 to P1 or P99 to P1 and then the oil or condensate reserves here in green. So that's how we run the analysis. So let's go ahead and recap. All right, so uh, now we can go ahead and capture the, the results of the run. Here's our gas distribution reserves potential distribution. So it could be anywhere from 10 BCF to 145 BCF in the highest high case. And then uh, all reserves, we get the distribution and we can capture all that information. And then we can go ahead and summarize it for the oil and gas, the P90, P50, and P10. So what this means is that if we drill this well, we, we should have a, at least, if we should have a 10 BCF as the low case and 71 BCF as the high case or the P10. That's how you do it. And we use a Monte Carlo analysis with the volumetric. So, Hope that was interesting and helpful and please contact me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.